I'm Larry McGaw with RV Comfort Systems. I'm here to talk about the cheap heat system. It's a system that allows the customer the option of either heating their coach with electric or gas. It ties into the existing forced air system, gives them a seamless process. All they have to do is flip a switch to pick between electric or gas. The kit's gonna come with all the pieces that you need. Uh, the first part of it, or part of it, you've got two wiring harnesses. You've got going to go to the override switch, and one of them is going to go uh, between the controller and uh, the thermostat. We've also got some extra nuts and bolts, our override switch in here. We've got our heating element. We'll be opening this up and looking at this here in a minute. We've got our controller in this box. installation instructions and this is the optional wiring kit it includes a disconnect uh, some 6 gauge wire uh, some 12 gauge wire those sort of things and we'll start here with the controller let's get this controller box opened up important warranty card you're going to want to make sure you get that filled out one of the nice things about this controller is it's designed to work on either the 30 amp uh, shore power services or the 50 amp shore power services. Plus it works on all the heat ranges that you have with the heating coils. Uh, so, it's, so it's kind of a one fits all thing. If you look inside of here what we've got is we've got um, on this side, we've got this is where our line voltage comes in and comes out. This is where it's going to feed the uh, heater element. And here is where our 12 volts comes in that, run, that uh, comes from our thermostat, goes out and runs our fan and our furnace. Um, and here, this is our speed controller for our fan. Okay, and then what you've got here is you can see these here. These actually depending on what fan speed you want to pick there's an adjust there's a chart here that'll show you which one of these gets removed or not this is now this will be there's more detail on this as you look at the installation instructions but this is the block diagram that breaks it down for you one of the other features about this is 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 the way that this controller is constructed this is this is a NEMA 1 box this is as high rated a box as you can get. It's made out of 16 gauge metal. The speed controller is really unique in the way that this thing is heat synced. Uh, it's heat synced all the way through and screwed into the back of the box with a solid copper ingot behind it. You're not going to find anything like that anyplace else. The, all of the circuitry in this thing is oversized by 30 to 50 percent. For example, uh, the average fan in a furnace is going to run somewhere around 10 to 12 amps. That's a 20 amp relay. Um, just for the thermostat control, that's a 5 amp relay. Thermostat, most it can run is 1 amp. You can see the size of the, the, the runs within the board in the, in the brass inlays in there, just how thick this thing is. And then everything's grounded. It's all grounded to the box. Uh, you'll be grounded back into the system all the way back from the controller to the heating element all the way through. We've got a UL certification that is not only considered a residential certification, we're, this is certified under UL for the U.S. and Canada. Each one of these components is UL listed individually as an add-on component part. You'll find whenever you're dealing with RVs, that whenever you start looking at certifications, we've, we've got a patent that, that makes our system unique. We've trademarked the system. We've got a UL listing on the system. We've really gone the, all of the extra steps that you need. Not to mention the fact, to lessen the fact, that everything in here has been over-engineered 30 to 50 percent of all the units that we have 
installed to this date since we've gone national, I can truly say we haven't had one failure. And that's because of the over-engineering. Okay, one of the other things we've done is our our installation instructions are all done in color. It's not just black and white. In fact, whenever you go to the wiring diagrams, you'll see that these are all done in color. All of the wiring runs, and you can see the colors are marked. They're actually in color, and these match the colors on the wiring harnesses. So it's not just that you have to follow the instructions. Everything matches the colors all the way through the system. And then we've got a very detailed instructions. Along with those, we've got your complete compatibility chart here that lists the different models and types of furnaces that the system is compatible with, which, can, which heater element setting you would use, which cabinet assembly you would use. All right, the next thing we need to discuss is the heater coil. Uh, we were talking about that earlier. This is the heater coil that we're talking about. The heater coil, this, you've got one heater coil that operates at three different heater settings, two different voltages. It's all one. This is really a unique, it's unique in, in that it does all those. This is a patented coil. Uh, we are the only ones that have this. The other nice thing about this is it makes it so easy for the technician to hook up. All the technician has to do is slide in a wire, twist a screw, pick which heat range you want, slide in the other wire, twist the screw, put the cover back on, put two screws in it, and he's done. That's all there is to it. Now the way the coil is designed, this coil has redundant safeties in it. You've got a thing that's called, these are called fusible links. And what these are set for is if these are fail safes. If this temperature limit switch at 200 degrees, which controls the air temperature inside the coil, ever exceeds this or this switch fails, these burn through internally and shut the system down. There's no way that this system can get over 333 degrees. It will shut off, period. So it's it's a hundred percent safe system. All right, up to now, what we've been talking about is we've been talking about the controller and the heater element. The last part that's the, that's the important piece of it is the add-on cabinet piece. This is the piece that actually fits on the end of the cabinet on the furnace inside the coach. So the air from the furnace blows into this cabinet. In this cabinet, we have our coil that slides inside the cabinet. It can slide into this side or it'll slide in from the other side. Okay, depending on which side you slide it in on, you're going to have this plate that fits on the opposite side that has the locking pins that slide through to support the heater element when you're traveling down the road. This one is for the ducted system that has the individual ducts running off of it. And this cabinet is for the plenum system where you have the duct that runs underneath the furnace that attaches directly to the furnace. This is not a do-it-yourself thing. This is something you need to find somebody that is qualified and certified to work on RVs. Do we provide training? Absolutely. Any dealer uh, that comes on, that we bring on, we provide training. We've got a support system where they can call us. We can talk them through the entire system from front to back. Any wiring issues they've got, any, any mechanical issues they've got with regards to hooking it up, our support team is second to none. I decided to try this system because uh, my back is a little uh, on the touchy side and the propane tanks are getting heavier every year. Just in order to uh, uh, cut down on the propane use, uh, I thought probably this would be a, a, a good uh, alternative to that. And uh, this, this just seemed like a, a good way to go. A couple of the people here had done it and uh, they seemed perfectly happy with it. Uh, basically, it cut out their propane use and wow. They simply didn't have to deal with the propane. Overall, I am exceptionally pleased, as is my husband, with getting this system. 
It has uh, saved us money, and it has saved wear and tear on my husband with because he doesn't have to schlep the propane bottles to get them filled every when you're using a gallon of propane a day it doesn't uh, with the regular furnace the propane furnace it doesn't take long to go through a bottle of propane so and electricity in our neighborhood and our neck of the woods is a lot cheaper than propane so uh, when you're retired on a fixed income uh, every penny counts so I like the system a lot what are the advantages to the end user to installing our cheap heat system the main advantage is the ability to be able to use electric over propane. Now, whenever they're plugged into an RV park, they don't have to worry about running out of propane at 3 o'clock in the morning, not having any heat. They don't have to worry about paying the additional cost of the propane because with the cheap heat system, they can provide 100% of their heating needs with the electric forced air system. Not only does it heat the upper part of the coach, by tying it in to the central heating system, it allows them to heat the basement as well, and it prevents freezing of pipes, things like that. Also, you can look at the cost associated with the electric versus gas, and whenever you do the math, you'll find out in the majority of the cases, even if you were paying for the electricity, the electricity would be cheaper. But I think probably the most important thing is, is what it does to your heating system. It actually increases the life expectancy of the furnace. It reduces the temperature that the shaft on the motor is going to see. It helps increase the, the, the fan motor runtime, uh, overall life of that. It, the comfort is amazing. With a gas furnace, you have a pre-purge and a post-purge cycle. That has a tendency to have the coach be either too warm or too cold. With the electric heat, that all goes away. Along with the comfort, you also have what it does with regards to the, the airflow in the system. What we found is whenever we put on our system, because of the way that the duct has to be reattached to our ductwork, it has a tendency to increase the airflow throughout the system and make it more even throughout the coach. Again, that lends itself to the comfort. So you're looking at increasing the longevity of the, the existing parts inside the furnace, you're looking at improved comfort level, you're looking at reduced cost, and it's a green system. You don't have fossil fuel burning now, you don't have to worry about pollution, and you've reduced your carbon footprint. I think that you're going to find this to be one of the best products you've ever installed in your coach.